Okay, so now the time has arrived to start answering some of your questions. Um, let's start as we often do with the second most often asked question. Why didn't Catherine kill Brandy? After all, Catherine was about to kill Brandy back in the junk room when uh, John was in danger, but she didn't even try to stop Brandy when Brandy was escaping Excelsior Mountain later. Well, the thing is that it does come down to John was being threatened that first time. Um, Catherine knows how to prioritize. The first priority was defeating Skynet, and for that she still needed John. And so as long as Brandy was going to be a threat to John, Catherine would be willing to kill Brandy. However, later, Brandy is no longer a direct threat. So Catherine understands that she might have a need for Brandy later. After all, Brandy is a different kind of cyborg. She is mechanics attached to organics versus the Ks, you know, Cameron and all of that, who are organics plastered and integrated into mechanics. Also, Brandy has other technology. I mean, let's not forget that originally Brandy was captured as a bit of an experiment by Skynet. It was not above taking those that it considered a threat and performing experiments to see how organics could integrate, to see how humans ticked. And as a result, Skynet will have different knowledge than Catherine has. So there would be reasons why you wouldn't have Brandy around here. I mean, it's not that Catherine would consider Brandy an ally, but, you know, she has cool tech, not the least of which may be some knowledge as to Andy's little cylinder. Okay, uh, the most often quest asked question was, how can it be that Catherine is Cleo's grandmother? Actually, Catherine is Cleo's great, 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 great poor grandmother. If we figure in that a generation for, per birth is about 20 years, maybe a little more. Assuming, of course, Cleo considers Savannah or somebody of that generation as her mother. Or father, for that matter. Uh, it isn't necessarily Savannah. I tend to think it kind of is. But nothing is canon until it actually goes into the posted script. So while I might kind of think that it's Savannah is the mother, it could just as easily be Tawny or it could be Allison. It could be John as father. Uh, it could be somebody else. Uh, hard to say. So all that really matters is that Catherine considers Cleo to be part of her familial lineage. And it raises uh, some interesting inferences that um, obviously Catherine has survived to this time. And No, I don't want to make too many inferences if I don't have to. Uh, I don't want to spoil things for Lumiere if I don't have to, because I don't know what he's going to do with the story. But uh, for this segment, uh, we're going to leave it at that. Okay, so uh, yeah, the only reason that Cleo called Catherine grandmother is that I couldn't think of another way that wasn't going to be really awkward or confusing or require me to explain it anyway. You know, I could have gone great four, uh, G4, uh, some other name, Grams, whatever. W whatever I did, it would have to be explained. So I figured that just calling her grandmother was the cleanest way of doing it. And uh, 
next video, next question.